Hello brothers and sisters, we welcome you all back to the Sons of God YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be sharing a recent message from our Lord Jesus Christ. This message was given in two different dates. We urge all viewers to watch to the end so as to ensure they don't miss any important information given in the message. God bless you all. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and always enjoy your consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Message from our Lord, September 1st, 2023. My beloved children, I bless you with my love. So much love is lacking among my children that I must awaken them. The human creature without love becomes a predator of his brothers to the point of desiring to dominate them so that they behave and act as the predator desires. Humanity has violated the commandments and does not take them into account in order to develop in life. This is very dangerous for those who act in this way, since with the yardstick you measure, you will be measured and a fourth more. Children, it is dangerous to pass from humility to pride, it is only one step. The creature does not perceive it, but when he analyzes his way of acting and behaving, if he is sincere with himself, he will notice that he has passed to pride. This should be taken into account by all. Do not say to yourselves, it is not for me, it is for everyone. Creatures inflated in their human ego always know everything but know nothing. My designs are my designs. I invite you to be generous with yourselves for the good of the soul and so that you may be certain of what my will is. You see how catastrophes happen around the earth, how the peoples are surprised again, and again by nature, the earth sinks, and the rivers suddenly sweep away populations, and my children are not ready to be more mine than from evil. The sun brings changes on earth, and it will be when electricity and the media will not have them, it will be when perhaps they will make a stop on the way, and some will turn their gaze towards me and decide to change. I have warned you about the sun and how it will affect you, but few are preparing how to survive without electricity and technology. It will be when my forced children will return to be like their ancestors and use various methods for lighting, cooking, and whatever is necessary. My little children, be charitable to your fellow man, be fraternal, do not turn away from your brothers, so that you may help one another and not perish. Be alert. Pray each one of you at every moment, so that you may be united to my house, so that my mother may listen to you, and that Saint Michael and his legions may be invoked for you. My beloved ones, these are difficult moments that you are entering. These are moments of ungodliness, therefore, it is indispensable that you remain united to my house, united to my mother, and pleading for the assistance of Saint Michael, the Archangel, 
and his legions. I promise you, the more faithful you are to me and to my mother, the more I will entrust one more angel to each of my children to guard them as long as they are compliant to my will. Continue to pray to my beloved angel of peace. He is the one who will give spiritual support to my people. I send him, I protect and guard him. He is a faithful door of my will and will encourage you in times of tribulation and loneliness. He is my beloved son and beloved son of my most holy mother. He will not allow heresies or sacrileges to continue. I am their Lord and their God. Pray my children, pray for one another that you may remain faithful to me. Pray children, pray, pray, not all phenomena that happen in nature are of nature, but the order and energy is altered to the detriment of the countries. You will know it when what happens is alarming, unbelievable, and frightening. Not everything that happens is mercilessly caused by man. Pray children, pray, the disease is coming again, you know how you must protect yourselves, do not ignore it. Pray children, pray, be creatures of faith and knowledge so that you are not led like lambs to the slaughter. Pray children, pray, understand and feel my infinite love for you, for all my children. Be creatures of peace, of goodness, creatures who do not seek to confront one another, but creatures of mine who seek to take me to every brother and every place. Pray my children, pray for Italy, it suffers due to nature. My peace be in each one of you, the distinction that you are my children, my testimonies. You know how much I love you and how much I beg you to persevere so that you may continue towards my house, by my hand and by the hand of my most holy mother. Be lovers of Saint Michael, the archangel, and his legions and be lovers of my archangels and angels. My beloved ones, I have given you all that you need spiritually, so that you may keep asking for the intercession of my saints and blessed ones. Be faithful, do not be fanatics, for the fanatics know neither my love, nor my mercy, nor my justice, and do not respect my designs, being the first to flee in trials. My blessing descend upon you at all times. I love you. Your Jesus. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Message of our Lord Jesus Christ. Toulouse de Maria. September 7, 2023. Dearly beloved children, all receive my blessing. I love you at all times. I call you and send you my divine assistance to keep you on my path. There are so many human beings who neither want to hear my call nor to love me. So many of my children have exchanged eternal life for the debauchery in which worldliness has enveloped them. Human beings allow themselves to be pulled towards aberrations, which the devil is spreading on earth, and humanity accepts them without any qualms, causing unimaginable acts to be committed by my children. Impurity is multiplying at great speed and becoming more aggressive, and the devil rejoices because of this. Perversity is increasing by leaps and bounds, sins are increasing, and will increase so much that Sodom and Gomorrah will be eclipsed by the sins that are already being committed and those that will be committed by humanity. I ask you to be strengthened in spirituality and knowledge. May faith increase in each one of you, beloved children. Without knowing me, you cannot walk. You will look for crutches that will serve you momentarily, but then. From my children, I want all their love I do not expect my children to be lukewarm. How many say that they love me while living criticizing their brothers and sisters, being creatures who sin in thought and deed, acting in sin with the knowledge of what sin is. Beloved, illnesses will intensify and my children will be taken by surprise without having what my house has revealed to them 
so that they would be freed from illnesses. Some ignore it while others, those closest to my calls, forget and remain indifferent. My children, routine is a very bad habit in all works and actions in life. Nothing is more harmful than routine. It causes everything in the human being to come to a stop, to the point of paralyzing good deeds and works, good feelings which then re-emerge from the ashes and rise again, but which only appear to continue. Acting out of routine causes you to be hypocrites and to hurt those around you with truth being lost. Each one of you, my children, is the architect of your own history, so you must strengthen yourself spiritually, you must be creatures of unshakable faith, otherwise you will not be able to resist the enemy of the soul, in the many trials that lie ahead. Pray, my children, pray for those souls who are suffering at the moment, offering their suffering for the good of all humanity. Pray, my children, pray for one another, it is very necessary for you to understand the urgency of praying from the heart. Pray, my children, pray, pray, nature will continue to surprise the peoples, and the elements will arrive unexpectedly. Water will continue to enter within cities, and to cause the ground to sink. Pray, my children, pray, men seek power based upon humanity's pain. Pray, my children, pray, the sun will take you by surprise, do not expose yourselves. Pray, my children, pray, stand firm in faith, being doors of my will. Pray, my children, pray that you would be able to see the great miracle that my mother keeps with her, under the title of our mother of Guadalupe. My children, prepare yourselves spiritually, the battle is fierce, this is necessary for you. It is urgent that you prepare yourselves by being firm, convinced, strong people who know me. I am with you, my children, remain in my heart, which burns with love, in search of my sheep. I bless you. Pay attention, my children, pay attention. Your Jesus. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. That comes the end of today's video. Brothers and sisters, please use a moment to thank our Lord Jesus Christ on the comment session for this message. Also ensure you support this video by giving it a like. If you have any question, please reach out to us on the comment session, we will be willing to respond to you. Please share this message to your friends and families. The Lord bless you and keep you until his glorious return. Amen.